okay now how this so code is calculating uh, this particular wind uh, let's go through the quick summary over here so see the basic logic uh, behind calculation of the wind is in terms of we know that we have the pressure in terms of what we have the definition of pressure right so the pressure will be force divided by unit area right whatever the force is acting on a particular area that is the basic equation so if you want to work out the force it will be in terms of pressure into area okay and based on that you multiply your pressure with the area and you will get the force okay now depending upon the structural conditions right we have either suction or pressure based on the wind intensity acting on the object or a building right so code has introduced the coefficient so that is called as the wind coefficient okay in code you have the wind force equation force equals to cp pd into a now the equation is same over here pd means pressure a is area and the introduced coefficient is cp why cp is introduced because depending upon the structural configuration or the surrounding area's topographical condition your wind intensity may vary okay so code is reducing that wind intensity or increasing the wind intensity based on your surrounding conditions based on your structural configuration so that's the main logic over here right so again this particular your wind coefficient is distinguished in terms of two categories external pressure coefficient and internal coefficient external pressure coefficient and internal pressure coefficient okay so we will look for this particular in detail from the code okay so these are the codal reference in the newer code we have slight changes uh, i told you about the wind intensity changes in the newer code to watch that particular video which is available on our youtube right so that you must have the idea about the latest wind speed what are the changes they have made and the in the if you are working out with your wind speed you should go with the latest code only right so these are the clause we will go through each clause one by one right again now from the external pressure coefficient to internal pressure coefficient you can work out your cp value then you need to work out your pressure now again pressure is uh, divided with the new equation that is kc k kd into pz now this particular equation is introduced in the latest version in the older version we have just vv in k1 k2 k3 right all of you are aware with the older provisions right so again this kc k a k d what is this values and how you have to determine this value we will go into brief in the further session again for the pz calculation we have the equation 0.6 vz square okay and again vz is vb k1 k2 k3 k4 is again a new component which is introduced in the vz equation in the newer code okay so these are the overall summary for your wind force calculation based on this we will work out the wind forces in our structure okay so i hope you don't have any doubt up to here uh now we will go into brief for each of the component available over here okay so that is the summary of your wind force and based on this calculation we need to work out each component in order to calculate the wind segment right now let's switch on to the codal provision now see in code your direction specifications are given in terms of eg fh diagram uh, that diagram you can see or observe in the code that is the key plan it is mentioned over here eg fh right and see you might have the confusion that sir in which from which particular direction we can consider the wind load okay uh, you can calculate from any side you can calculate from here you can consider zero degree in any direction let's say on the longer side you are considering you can do that if you want to go with the shorter direction to be considered as a theta equal to zero degree you can do that but code has specified the longer direction as theta equals to zero degree okay so code is assuming for the longer side this will be my theta equals to 0 degree and for 90 degree this particular direction is 
this one okay now if you are calculating with a different component just remember one thing uh, let me just give you that segment for your better clarification this particular thing you should keep in mind right so let's say if the building is vertically rectangle uh, this is the important point while you are calculating the wind force whether you are doing a manual calculation or if you are using an excel program right this particular thing you should keep in mind how you are calculating or assuming as i told you you can calculate your wind from any particular direction right you can assume zero degree in this direction as well right but for uh, exact calculation or to avoid the mistake this particular thing you should remember that if my building is vertical rectangle it is vertical rectangle then a and b will be zero and c and d will be 90 now what is this a b c d these are the your side walls configuration or what we can say the notations so based on that you have to work out your coefficients from the code so a b c d it is already mentioned in your code c if you look table 5 over here the category of your side all four sides are categorized in terms of a b c d right and same a b c d are mentioned over here these are your external pressure coefficients right so keep in mind while understanding the structural configuration so as i told you if your building is vertically rectangle then a and b will be for your zero degree part and c and d will be for the 90 degree part but if you are going for the other condition let's say if it is horizontal rectangle okay then your a and b will be 90 degree and c and d will be zero degree so according to your structural orientation you need to select your coefficients so you will not lead to any particular mistakes in the calculation okay so this is one of the important part majority of the students do have not awareness about this okay so this is the important point i want to convey while calculating okay so the direction part is clear to all of you that uh, you don't have any confusion regarding the zero degree consideration or 90 degree consideration you can calculate your wind from any direction but you just have to take care about your coefficients in terms of your a b c d okay so that is the most important part now let's switch to the component again okay so as per code this is your zero degree and this is 90 degree okay so code is considering this particular notation eg fh in order to work out your wind load okay and we will go through this one as well all right now let's switch to the codal provision part now see to consider all the equations in one page summary what i have done i have taken this uh, this screenshots from directly from the code so i can summarize everything here in the page and i don't have to rush to the pdf and just to avoid the scrolling part okay so here uh, we will work out all the components i have taken from this latest code is875 part 3 which is 2000 based on 2015 so we are understanding the codal provision with the latest code updates okay now see we will go further for the equation part all right so see 7.3.1 clause gives you the consideration for your wind load on individual segment so as i discussed your force wind force will be calculated in terms of cpe minus cpi area into pd okay and cp is your external pressure coefficient cpi is the internal pressure coefficient a is the surface area of the structural element or cladding unit and pd is the design wind pressure from which we have to work out the wind segment as i told you there is a note written uh, say in the your code that the positive wind load indicates the force acting towards the structural element and negative away from that 
ओके सो द पॉजिटिव एंड द नेगेटिव साइन विल डिफाइन योर विन डायरेक्शन दैट आई ऑलरेडी डिस्कस्ड विथ यू राइट ओवर हियर इन द नोट्स दिस वन राइट विंड एक्टिंग टावर्स द सर्फेस विल बी पॉजिटिव प्रेशर अवे फ्रॉम द सर्फेस विल बी नेगेटिव सो बेस्ड ऑन दैट आई हैव रिटर्न दिस पर्टिकुलर पार्ट लेट मी जस्ट क्लोज दिस All right. Now we will move further for this discussion of the CP value and CPI value. How you can work out this? All right. So in this particular coefficient values, out of this area and PD, now we will work out the PD value. How you can work out your PD? so that particular for that particular equation of force cp minus cpi area into pd the next part is pd how you can calculate the pd value so pd value is basically calculated in terms of kd ka kc into pz okay and we will understand each of the terms what is kd what is ka it is mentioned over here that is wind directionality factor then we have area averaging factor then kc value is the combination factor now there is one another note i have mentioned here which also people don't understand because they don't read code properly okay now see there is a note written in your designed wind pressure calculation which is most important the value of pd however shall not be taken less than 0.7 pz okay this is the pz value pz equals to 0.6 vz square so we what it basically says that whenever you work out your wind load for the roof as well as for the sheet okay you have to compare that wind load value with the 0.7 pz if it is less than that then you have to go with the minimum value of 0.7 pz all right so your wind should not be less than 0.7 pz value all right it might happen that in some of the region you will get your designed wind pressure less than the 0.7 pz value so minimum for any structural configuration if you are working out your wind load the minimum value is 0.7 pz that you need to incorporate in your design okay otherwise it will be not be correct part so that is the another important part you have to keep in mind okay so uh my pd part is over pd is equals to kd k kc into pz now let's work out what are these each individual elements 